10. Yesterday, we had a visit from the Minister of Tourism of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He visited St. Lucia basically to have discussions with me on two main issues. One, investment, tourism investment in St. Lucia. We also informed him of our need to, con to complete the work at St. Jude Hospital. Nine. Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, has laid the groundwork to construct a new detention facility where custody suites once stood. One of the basic problems is when you arrest people, you must get somewhere to put them. The last government destroyed the custody suites and no one has accounted for it. Why would you destroy a holding cell? You started working on it and hopefully we should get the custody suites in the next nine months. Eight. President of the Pan American Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Jason Fraser, paid a courtesy visit to Minister Responsible for Youth Development and Sports, the Honorable Kenson Casimir. During the visit, Mr. Fraser presented over three thousand U.S. dollars worth of equipment from the International Federation to assist in the development of the sport on island. Of course, if you're going to develop the sport, you would need to ensure that you have the basic equipment needed. And of course, today we received the quantum of equipment from the president of the Pan American Federation, and we're very grateful for that. Seven. Talented individuals from the Roseau Valley area got an opportunity to display their products during the second annual Farmers Market. This year's event was held at Constitution Park and also provided agro processors from the area with an outlet to expose their creations to the wider public. This farmer's market has been put on to really showcase some of what is produced right here in St. Lucia. I'm very proud of the young individuals that have come forward. We just saw an ice cream demonstration right there. Um, it looks very, very tasty. And this is what the government of St. Lucia is about, giving everybody opportunities they tap into the youth economy, use their talents, their skills and capabilities and turn it into enterprise and to further develop themselves and their families. Six. The Ministry of Health's dental unit is embarking on a campaign focused on proper dental hygiene in St. Lucia. The Brushwell toothbrushing campaign will engage students within the ages of four to six years old. Kindergartners and grade one students are not too young to learn that proper dental hygiene practices can help prevent bad breath, tooth decay and gum disease which ultimately increases their chances of maintaining a healthier mouth and teeth as they grow into their adult years. Five Men attached to the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport's Road Maintenance Team, commonly called the Port Willing Unit, were treated to a men's retreat. As a form of wanting to understand their concerns, the constraints and if we come together in a, a setting such as this, I think we can achieve a lot. 4. Students were required to produce videos which highlight areas of cooperation and sustainable development. The project's year-long activities culminated with a prize-giving event conducted recently at the college. The video's subject matter, presentation, screenplay and narration, and production values were all evaluated in relation to the sustainable development goals. We learned a lot and enjoyed being a part of the project. For me, it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Three. A comprehensive training session was conducted for a cohort of 76 participants across various government institutions. This initiative was organized as part of a collaborative effort between the governments of St. Lucia and Argentina under the Triangular Project. We all saw what happened during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. A lot of people lost their um, employment in the service sector and the majority of these people have to gravitate to the agricultural sector, not having a proper background in terms of soil and water management. And that can be chaos in terms of um, on these two critical factors of production. Two. In a significant milestone for agricultural development, a graduation ceremony was held to commemorate the completion of a good agricultural practices training. I would also like to express my appreciation to the Ministry of Agriculture and Taiwan Technical Mission for their hard work on organizing the workshop. This training is in keeping with the new thrust of the Ministry. That is the overarching goal of ensuring both food security and nutrition. One. The physical fitness session served as a culminating leg of the HOTS original training workshop 
and the Non-Communicable Disease NCD Framework Monitoring Meeting, representatives of over 17 countries converged in St. Lucia to dialogue on the current realities associated with non-communicable diseases and to map the way forward as governments in the region. From the experiences gained during the COVID-19 pandemic, we see the need for change and the need to come together as we use best practices to build stronger primary health care systems which respond to the challenges posed by NCDs and their risk factors.